right, hey everybody, what were the fans of heavy metal nicknamed? If you know that, hit the subscribe, or hit, go ahead and hit the subscribe button while you're down, and I got lots of videos coming up, but comment down below, let me know who knows it, and um, let's see, play a little game, all right, so if you don't know by now, I'm Donald Witt, the bass instructor for the online course, I want to play bass.com, and we go over helping aspiring bassists um, become um, become bassist and reaching their goals and everything and so j jump on over there as well and subscribe I've got a free ebook there um, for you on how to set your base up from scratch and um, it's you know you get to you get the lessons of how to set it up so that's what's c critical because you know not everybody's the same I like might like my action a little higher for certain reasons or some people might like it a little lower for certain reasons but <clears throat> that's it jump over there check it out for sure and um subscribe let me know let me know you're there and um let me help you help you help me help you so that's that's the ticket so today we're talking about the 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 last genre of this um uh, american origins origins of american music series and it's um it's heavy metal although i know heavy metals wasn't or didn't or, originate in America in the United Kingdom is where it, um, where it started out but it was highly influenced by our American music <coughs> which basically was was the blues which is influenced every everything it, blues is the most influential um, genre we have created so so that's that's heavy metal and where it came from and it came about about the mid mid 60s um, late 60s early 70s and that's where it came about um surprisingly but that's that's the heavy metal that's that's the the heavy hitters back then were led zeppelin and black sabbath and um and I don't know, we've got judas priest in there um and just those those are the heavy hitters um of that genre for sure. And Deep Purple. I was drawing a blank for a second. It was Deep Purple. That was a big one. Um, and in the early days of heavy metal, <clears throat> but I mean, it's heavy metal has been a big influence in in my life. It's um, it kind of what got me started. I remember my first um, bass I got. We took some bass lessons, and that's what we did. My instructor sat there. And for the entire half hour, we sat out and figured out um, Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Several, it, it's such a long song. I think it's like 15, 13, 14 minutes long. That yeah, it took several lessons in them. But that was my, you know, that was that was my lesson. That's what I learned. But that's what I wanted. And he was pretty cool about it because he sat there and played on an acoustic, um, a classical acoustic guitar. And he said figured figured out, and I think he liked it too. But he wouldn't admit it. But um, so yeah, that's. That's my early days. The um, Iron Man was a big influence. Steve Harris, one of my you know biggest idols um, for sure. Definitely in my younger days, um, he was a start when I you know, heard a bass player that could do that. Because initially, when I started playing bass, it was just like oh, it's you know it's not that big a deal. But he he taught me. Um, I learned so much from you know being influenced by him playing his music that he. You know, he wrote most of that music and just just a power power player for Iron Maiden. But um but yeah, that's back to heavy back to heavy metal. It um you know, it originated in um United Kingdom but influenced heavily by the blues and um it, it um <coughs> back in sixty eight when the Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath and Deep Purple they emerged, that's when that was the first um, beginnings when they came around, but those three were some of the heavy metal's heaviest hitters in those days, and um, and that was, and later on, um, after disco took its, um, disco came around in the mid '70s, it kind of, it it went real popular, real mainstream was on disco, so it was, um, it had a lot to do with the dying off of heavy metal but it was revived later on in the late 70s by bands like Iron Maiden, Def Leppard, um, Def Leppard was a big one and um, you know you beat Aerosmith, you know big names like that they were you know they were the reviving of it and you 
know, it was heavy metal is probably rock and roll's most popular, commercially most popular um, genre of, you know, that that came from rock and roll, and that was, you know, it's very popular, and it's I think a lot of it had to do with the how people either either the critics that criticized it either created the you know the desire for people to want it and like it more you know how that you kind of get that backlash the more you push somebody away from something the harder they draw back to it or it could be that it became so popular that these critics just tried to you know back it back it off but you couldn't do it people love music and it's like I say it wasn't you know it was you know that was their stage presence was a big thing of heavy metal that was you know the show they put on i think that was kind of the start of the big show the um you know the big just the big shows that was really what fueled heavy metal was was their stage presence and a stage performance and that's that's kind of and how they did it was the horrifying tactics that they they used um you know a lot of the just just the horrifying stuff that that people drew to and that was you know that back in those days it was the big horror horror movies and stuff like that and that's what you know they um people enjoyed that stuff it was just it was just popular in the day and heavy metal was they took that and used it in their music but um that's what made it even more popular was just the the drama the um the stage performance mm-hmm. that was put on the music wasn't wasn't difficult it was you know the chord progressions were they're simple chord progressions and that's what it kind of the critics even put them down for the simple they call it a simple music which which it wasn't at all the vocals with its mystical um, lyrics and stuff like that very creative i think um i think it's just the it's what it should be called more creative than than lazy or simple music because you know that it's like i said the mystical lyrics that heavy metal produced were it was just astounding and um it was that and the distorted guitars and the huge drums you know the powerful drums um of the musical makeup of of um of heavy metal and the power chords you know those chord progressions just that i mean it just yeah it's just simple stuff just simple chords just power chords you know but you know it the melodies were there and it was you know a big a just just very pleasing to the ear and, and a distortion and, and it wasn't even you didn't have to acquire it it was just something you, you just liked it and um it, that's how it grew and with you know virtuoso guitarists like eddie van halen um Yngwie malmsteen and um you know just I'm probably missing a few if i'm missing a few leave me a comment chew me out but but yeah those were the big names that helped push this um this heavy metal genre to the commercial level that it was at <clears throat> and that's I mean that's heavy metal the the big drums and um all that like I said after the disco came around the you know Iron Maiden stepped up and or stepped in and um Def Leppard and they they revived it big time and and innovated it and just took it to another level um but despite all the critics of of heavy metal it was still like say the most commercially successful genre but um but um the big names like like eddie van halen and bringing the guitars in there and everything and it um it took a it was it took such a beating though in the in the 80s that you know they were trying to blame heavy metal for all the atrocities the you know suicides they said that the lyrics were subconsciously um doing this to teenagers i mean they took it as far as politicians and started lobbying um against heavy metal and have it banned and it was just amazing that it went that far but it was it was that powerful of a of a genre that it had that effect on society and people you know believe that and i think the more they pushed again you know the more they tried to push it away the harder the the younger generation tried to push it back at them (coughs) and either that had a lot to do with the with the popularity or it was just it was that that popular 
and people loved it that much that um that it got that it got the older people just kind of you know scared of it that you know it was t- took such an influence on their on their children I guess that um or they'd seen such a difference in their children and they, the music they enjoyed they the children enjoyed that in the stage presence and the performance and they kind of tried to play that out in the I guess it kind of affected the way the elders and the parents um, you know were, were afraid of it it was something new and very um, outrageous to them you know. so so that's heavy metal that's um that's what it's all about I mean it's that fueled that kind of outrageousness is what it was all about and you know just it was I enjoyed it and it, you know it wasn't none of that but I just I, she had a big influence on myself as well, but you know one of the biggest ones of mine was um, Iron Maiden. And this will this will be I'm gonna play um, the Trooper, and we'll I'll go over. It. I mean basically in in those you know Steve Harris was was a beast on this. He's just a beast. You imagine playing two hour shows that they do and they'd have. 13 minute long songs he was a beast at a high tempo and you know just a very athletic the whole group was athletic they were um, big soccer fans and just they were just beasts man they were just in shape and just solid solid businessmen and songwriters at that so I'm gonna play this is one of our main more they're they're more mainstream it's not not as difficult though um, to do um it's you know it's just a workout but it's not um not too difficult of a song so this is the trooper Thank mm-hmm. you. 
that's that's Steve Harris. A little, little rough, but helps when I got a drummer and some, some vocals. Definitely, because those breaks in there. Let me stop this real quick. Those little breaks in there. <clears throat> but the biggest thing he had is just the, just the. You can hear the. You can actually hear the strings slapping in, in a lot of his. Uh, Say, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and um, if anything you want to know, if anything I left out. Oh, and by the way, don't forget if you know the answer, what these guys were, what these big heavy metal fans um, were nicknamed, let me know. Leave a comment down below, and maybe in the next um, next video, I'll bring it out, or I'll just um, I'll just answer you in the comments. So, all right. See you around. Check me out, Donald, um, at IWantToPlayBass.com. Even go to Udemy.com. I've got some bass lessons there as well. Um, Donald S. Witt bass lessons. And check them out. They're just little single individual lessons. But, um, you know, just give you an idea. There's some, they're mainly on scales. Um, so if you're not familiar about a scale or you've got some questions about a scale, check it out. It's all there. So, Check me out. I want to play bass.com and go ahead and subscribe down here and comment. I want to know if you know what these guys are called, what those fans are called.